Woven into each and every one of us, there is an inner net. We connect to each other, thread to thread, cell to cell, heart to heart. When formed correctly, the net forms community and we catch boatloads of life. We all yearn to be hewn in this collection, for it is the human connection. It's the reason why we have eyes, tongues, and lips, so we can be intertwined together as we see, speak, and kiss. It's the reason why we have right and left hands, so when my right reaches your left, pinkies, rings, middles, pointers, and thumbs interconnect in the loom of the human thread. But we have become disconnected by nations and nationalities, language and legalities, wars and quarantines, prejudices and bigotry. The net of humanity has been severed severely as we cut ourselves off in the pursuit of individuality. And in the midst of this shrinking world sensation, many are placing the blame on technology. As we burrow into our browsers, unplug by plugging in for hours, miss blue skies while working in the cloud, laugh out loud without laughing out loud, humanity seems to be disconnecting at the one point in history when it is the most connected. But just as to the good, we are not entirely compliant nor entirely resistant, neither is this tool entirely consistent. For the problems of our world used to be too big and too distant to connect to and know of its widespread existence. But now our world is too small and too close for us not to make a difference. We can now connect crowds around a cause, the ignorant to knowledge, the isolated to college, orphans to their fathers, donors to nonprofits, and injustices to those who can stop it. We can now see our newborn nephew, a revolution breakthrough, the troops as they withdrew, uncensored world news, and what is and is not true. We can now hear cries from Thailand, shouts from Somalia, and can shove our arms elbow deep through our screens, reach out and touch them. But so often we use this tool to ignore them and the rest of those humans. For just as fire can be used for warmth or destruction, we misuse URLs, firewalling off the world with distractions. We search daily but find nothing, add friends but lose community, look for love but get pornography, try to discover ourselves but lose our identity. And though this entity is filled with both healing and brokenness, guilt and innocence, some of what's godly and some of what's devilish that does not detract from its significance when it comes down to it the true nature of this new age unit is in how we use it woven into each and every one of us there is an inner net and I pray we may stitch our world back together as we knit patch and connect